What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua has made it public their intentions for 2023. And Eddie Hearn has clearly used Dylan White as what Fury refers as cannon fodder. Uses the man. Because when Eddie Hearn was solely responsible for Dylan White, he could not deliver him a title shot, world title shot over 900 odd days. But as soon as Tyson Fury became the WBC champion and moved Eddie Hearn out the picture, bang, Dylan White got his title shot. So again, this highlights the intention where Tyson Fury would fight anyone, would, yeah, and where Eddie Hearn, more responsible, not even talking about Eddie, where Eddie Hearn will say this, say that, and wouldn't get you anywhere, like responsible for Dylan White. And now, where AJ hasn't got nowhere to turn, who did he pull out his ass? Dylan White. So it goes to show the intention of Eddie Hearn, and it's sad to see. I hope the best with Dylan White. It goes to show that reality has finally hit home for the pair, and they realise that they're well out of their depths fighting the best of the best of the heavyweight division solid contenders outside the top which is fury and wilder let's face it fury and wilder will stand at the top of the heavyweight division um for a while and there's some solid solid people on the upcoming like jared anderson for example joe joyce is looking amazing uh, there's some solid people out there some prospects but let's look at the names that eddie hearn is throwing out of the bag so in terms of names, he says, talking to Anthony Joshua, AJ, Oluwa Femi, Big Femi the other day, he wants to fight Dylan White, really. Dylan White fights on November 26th against Jermaine Franklin, we all know. And White is the front runner for Joshua, as he says. If he comes through against Franklin, Otto Wallin is a guy that's reached out numerous times. That's a good fight for him as well. And then there's the Deontay Wilder situation. He likes to pull Deontay Wilder out of his ass, Eddie Hearn, just to sort of tease people that they're never going to fight uh, Wilder let's face it the feeling for AJ is the value of and by the way none of them are easy fights who is he referring to Wilder's the, Wilder is not an easy fight yeah Otto but this goes to show realities hit home for the pair and they're realising where they stand in the heavyweight division mentally I don't think he can handle being at the top of the division and I think fighting the likes of Dylan White Otto Wallin, Jermaine Franklin, you know, I think he will be more aggressive, will be more confident, and he'll produce a better display of himself, to be honest with you. But this is where they're at. And it's sad also to see in regards to Dylan White because, because they'll probably try and push him as the piece. This should be a 50-50 fight now. This should be. You know, White actually fought the best in Fury, lost, but has looked good other than that. Yeah, Joshua lost against not the best of the best, but someone who was just clearly better than him in Usyk. People say he's the best of the best. How? How are you gonna make that? How are you gonna make that calculation? Where AJ's clearly shown his depth, not shown his level, and Usyk gone and outboxed that person who's just got lesser ability than him. Does it now make Usyk the best of the best because he holds belts? Usyk went to hell and high water with Derek Chisora remember so <clears throat> let's just talk frank here Usyk hasn't done anything to affirm himself as best for best of the best of the heavyweight division because he fought an empty anthony joshua and prior to that struggled with an older Derek chisora whose game you know i love Derek chisora everyone does you know good fighting man but in terms of levels come on now look what joseph parker done to Derek chisora you know, Usyk couldn't you know Pose those things onto Chisora, and now they want to put Usyk above the lights of even Joe Joyce in terms of rating him as well. Let's just face it, AJ has faced, I think, the end phase, and the days are numbered for Anthony Joshua. And I hope Dylan White scores a big KO victory over Anthony Joshua. And that's why I think it's going to be a 50 50 fight because AJ hasn't lost to, as we just now clarified, he has not lost to someone who's solidified himself in the heavyweight division. I think Usyk fights Joyce and he gets he gets beat by Joyce. I reckon Usyk gets beat easily by Fury. There's even other people, you know, solid people. Jared Anderson, will, will, I think, will destroy Usyk. You know, so... <clears throat> Dylan White should be 50-50 in this fight of AJ. But I think Eddie Hearn's going to try and manipulate the situation, take the piss and so on and so forth. I hope White scores a big KO victory over anti Joshua if this fight happens. In any case, 
this is the plans for AJ and Eddie Home for 2023. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Like, subscribe. Be back with more.